Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, everybody's song and sword nation. We declare Jesus with, we proclaim Jesus with a song of grace and a sword of truth. I'm barely awake, I'm having some coffee. I brought you to the beach. Uh, after today, we're making our way slowly home. We decided to take a slow trip home. So when we get back home and we're all exhausted for Easter, but we are looking forward to Easter. We're praying for it every day, praying for you. Here's what I want you to do today at 149, when you pray for Song and Sword Church, pray for the people who need to hear the story about Jesus Christ. Pray that they will come to faith this Sunday as we declare the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Well, I've been walking you through um, the last week leading up to Jesus' crucifixion, His burial, and His resurrection. And this is Wednesday. Wednesday, traditionally, uh, nothing happens in the Scriptures. We don't know of anything. The word that I'm going to give you today is the word reflection. Wednesday of the Holy Week is a good day to reflect. Uh, on what Jesus has done and, and the anticipation that Jesus has. I, I'm going to give you that in just a moment, but um, this is also, Wednesday is, is traditionally the time where we think that Judas went into Jerusalem and made the deal with the chief priest that he was going to betray Jesus. So think of all that stuff that's going on. Jesus, meanwhile, is in Bethany, and uh, he's been staying with his good friends, we believe, uh, Mary and Martha and Lazarus and... Uh, in the midst of that, something incredible happens that the disciples don't understand, but this is what I want us to reflect on today. Um, in Matthew chapter 26, verse 6, Now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at the table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done it to prepare me for burial. Truly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. In fact, this is told in every one of the gospel stories. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John have this woman. John identifies her as um, Mary, uh, the sister of Martha and Lazarus. And we find Jesus here at Simon the leper's house. We don't know. John also says this. Uh, we don't know who this guy is. But Jesus is in Bethany. It's, it's the day before he's going to uh, eat the, the Passover with his disciples and be betrayed and then crucified the next day. And yet he's sitting around a table. Maybe he's teaching. Maybe he's in just enjoying the company. Maybe he, I, we don't know exactly what's going on, but he's at a dinner table, like we found him through his entire life. And, uh, and now a woman comes up and she anoints him. And everybody thinks it's a waste of money, including Judas. John tells us now that Judas used to take money. He was the money keeper of the apostles. He used to take money uh, from time to time, steal it. So maybe that, this is the impetus that gets Judas to go to the chief priest and go, okay, I'm gonna turn this guy over. He's wasting money, money that I'm gonna steal. But I want to focus on this today, and this is what I want you to take in this Wednesday. By the way, if you have prayer requests, text prayer to that number on the screen. But I want you to take this into this Wednesday. The word is reflection. Here's Jesus at the table. He's reflecting on all that he's done in three years. He's reflecting on his impending death to come. He's, he's, he's reflecting on all the plan the Father and he had to save the world from the beginning of time. And, um, and somebody at that table, Mary, we believe, reflects on the fact that Jesus is everything to her. And she wants, in, she wants to worship him in some extravagant way. She pours out this entire bottle of perfume that was probably worth a year's wages, they say. And uh, she, her, in her reflection of Jesus, she decides that she's gonna do something special. Reflect on Jesus today. Everything that he is, everything that he's done, the sacrifice that he's made. This story of the woman today leads us in reflection because on this Wednesday, we get ready to celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hope you have a blessed day. Pray for us as we travel north. God bless you. See you soon.